She's a teenage girl, but bureaucrats say she's a burden on Australia. In just three weeks, she and her parents will be kicked out of the country and deported to Italy, leaving her brothers and sisters behind. Tonight, their plea, have a heart and keep this loving family together. <laughs> it's her favourite time of day. A walk with the family, followed by trampolining, and it's all hers. Oh, and let's not forget her passion for running. Oh, she's the fastest. <laughs> but most of all, Bendetta enjoys singing with her family. She's a young woman who loves life. But Australia doesn't want her. As a country, we don't tolerate discrimination. A cruel government rule tearing a family and twins apart. I can't imagine my life without her. Not in the slightest. Don't want to think about it. I actually don't. The Donagemma family may have their origins in Italy, but they haven't lived there for 30 years. For nearly two decades, Australia has been home. They've never been in trouble, worked hard, paid their taxes. In fact, they've paid much more than most Australians having forked out for schooling and health care as they have no access to free education or Medicare. Nonetheless, Australia is home. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. I, I can tell you how much uh, we appreciate Australia, we love Australia. Dad Vanny was invited here all those decades ago because of his much-needed skills. I'm a geologist in oil and gas, specialised in uh, reservoir management. But when the pandemic hit, his employer had to let him go, and with that went his working visa. And jobs for him are few and far between. I'm very, very highly skilled in what I'm doing. It was very difficult to find another possibility in Australia. But while he was looking for work to keep his visa going, the family says immigration officials then red-flagged his daughter, Bendetta, who, along with wife Elisa, were attached to his visa. I tell you, it's not easy. But there's no one day we, we say thanks to having Benedetta. Bendetta lives with a rare chromosome disability. Benedetta doesn't have any medical requirement in terms of therapy. She's just um, non-verbal with a development delay. Is she a burden on our health system? She's not a burden, not at all, absolutely. She doesn't have any kind of medication, nothing. Does she go to hospitals? No. Does she see doctors regularly? No, no way. just like a nothing. normal child, uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But the immigration department, the family told us, believe Bendetta could still be a burden on our healthcare system. It's incredible. We went through several times to try to convince that Benedetta wasn't a burden. So Elisa, Vanny and Bendetta have just three weeks before they are to be deported to Italy, where this 18-year-old has never lived. If she's forced to go back, how would that be for her? It will be devastating because oh. we'll be a complete new environment. So we start asking for her, her siblings. Yeah, she Every will. Day. Yeah. Bendetta's siblings have all grown up in Australia. School, work, friends. They've made a life here. And what high achieving short lives they've made of it. All on student visas, unlike their parents and Bendetta. This is their country, they say. This is their home. So you represent Australia overseas? Yes. Kiara has made Australia proud at four world championships in the sport of ice skating. As well, she's a qualified interior designer. Andrea studied and became a chef here. It honestly hurts me the fact that a family like us has to uh, be in this situation where we're forced to be separated from my sister and I. 
Vendetta's twin, Matteo, has just finished his HSC and now off to uni to study astronomy and astrophysics. I like to think that I got a nine-month head start to get to know her before everyone else. So if she was removed from my life, it would actually be really, really devastating. Another high achiever in this talented family is Francesco. He's studying mechanical engineering and simply says they are young people who want to contribute to our society. All we want to do is try and make a life for ourselves. It's as simple as that. And we're not afraid of putting in the hard work. But in a few weeks, mum, dad and Vendetta will be deported, leaving behind the rest of this close, loving family. I'm seeing everyone. Chiara invented a family monopoly game with all the places around the world mum and dad lived in. It tells their story. The IKEA furniture they bought time and time again. The go-to-jail immigration they all fear. And the lotto they hope to win to help them fight for a better decision. They're not alone. They have friends and supporters here, including Chiara's coach, Madonna, who worries about her champ. She's an asset. We can't afford to lose her. Matteo's mate, who also worries about his friend's career in space. He wouldn't be able to reach his full potential. All of the children are polite, courteous, kind, helpful. But they will soon be on their own because of Vanny's present work status. Employers out there, wake up, this is a fantastic opportunity to keep a family together and employ uh, a very skilled man. And then there's that happy young woman Australia, it seems, doesn't want. Australia doesn't support kids with special needs. Why? Why? Australia is much better than what some rules. Beware the Ides of March. March 15 is when they must go. There's one way we can stay in Australia. The only way is to become permanent for us. We need to advocate, someone advocate for us, that help us. We'd be a better off country to have families like this. We need them. Surely, in a generous, compassionate country like ours, this young, life-loving woman shouldn't be seen as a burden. And it breaks my heart when people say that she is, because she, if people really got to know her, then... It's not fair. Brady Hawes joins me now. Braids, I mean, come on, she's not a burden, she's gorgeous. Yeah, you bet she is. You know, we are a better country than this, Ali. We are a more compassionate people than mm. we're being told here. You know, at the end of the day, to think she has no medication, she's on no drugs, she doesn't go to hospital, she doesn't see doctors. Where's the burden, the family says? It's so unfair, they just don't get it. I can yeah. see that it gets to you too. Yeah. Um, what it happens does. if this doesn't go the way they want and they do get deported? Oh, it's terrible. You know, they have no support back in Italy. Ali, they, um, the family from all those decades ago when they left, their family was decimated by the COVID pandemic, this region that they lived in. Mm. They have just one family member left alive. There is no one there to help them at all or to support them, you know? So if anybody's watching this tonight and you happen to be the best immigration lawyer in Australia or you happen to be somebody in a mining industry and you could give Vanny a job as a geologist, contact us. We promise we'll pass that on to the family and hopefully we might be able to get some answers there. But you know what, Ali? This family is just one of hundreds, probably thousands of families on visa problems like this.